Welcome to another MagnaShade instructional video. In this video, we're going to show how to install our shades on coaches that have bulkhead interference, uh, starting with our side shade installation. Uh, the shade, here we go with the uh, Mason shade. This is their door shade with their puppy. To install the side shades, first step is to turn your shade upside down on a table. Separate the black magnets that are clearly marked on the box. Attach them to the pockets of the shade. Now those will rotate and attach automatically. And what Shirley's doing here is uh, scooting the magnets out board. And this is important that you want all the magnets outboard. When you move that magnet, it's also moving the magnet in the shade to the outboard position. So this gives you some adjustment in your shade. Now the next step is to wipe the magnets with a little alcohol and water mixture to ensure that you have a good bond with the 3M VHB adhesive which surely we'll be installing next. Okay, so the next step in preparing for the shade installation for your door is to add the 3M VHB adhesive dots. Peel the white film off the dot, do not touch the adhesive and then you're going to place the adhesive dot on each of the magnets. And it helps to put a little pressure on them too. This adhesive uh, we use in all our windshield shades, all of our shade products has a working temperature range of minus 30 to 300 degrees. And it takes uh, 72 hours to fully bond to the glass. And we'll explain a little bit of that when we get to the installation on the door. If you want to skip to the windshield installation for this particular application, uh, it's at 5 minutes 11 seconds. Okay, now the shade is prepared and ready to install. And now we're going to prepare the glass here in just a second. There you go. Very fast and easy there. All right, now here we go to the uh, glass preparation. What Shirley's doing now, we're using four aught steel wool and alcohol and water uh, mixture, 50-50 mixture. She's basically uh, cleaning the area with the four aught steel wool, which will not scratch your glass, but it will re help remove any wax or chemicals on the glass so that we get a good bond. So four aught steel wool is available at uh, pretty much any hardware store. And she's going to wipe that clean, just spraying a little extra alcohol on there to remove any of the uh, remaining lint. And basically you're just uh, cleaning the exterior portion of the glass. All right, now we're ready for the next step. With your shades, you're going to receive a box that will say Silane. We'll show you right here. The Silane is a 3M product that creates a monofilm on the glass. It's a bonding agent for the VHB adhesive and it also creates a barrier uh, for moisture. And surely it's just putting a little spray on there. There's roughly about uh, 50 squirts in that bottle, so there's plenty, it doesn't take a lot. All right, so the silane's applied and she'll, um, she'll be ready to install the shade. So what we're gonna do next the magnets are scooted outboard, the adhesive is on the magnets, we're going to hold it up, line up the edges of the shade with the glass. Sometimes it helps to have a helper check the bottom edge. Once you're uh, lined up, then we're going to peel the film off one of the magnets. We generally start with the top and then work our way back and forth. You can start, it doesn't matter really where you start at the top. The important thing here too is also make sure that you don't touch the adhesive with your fingers. Um, oil from your hand will cause the adhesive not to stick. So Shirley's going to start here and um, pull the uh, VHB film off and sticking it to the glass. And when she does that she's going to also put some pressure on those magnets. I'd suggest about 30 seconds of pressure. Uh, on the magnets and then once the magnets are installed to the glass you want to remove your side shades for at least 72 hours before reinstalling. And now she's going back and putting a little more pressure on those magnets and they should be good to go. 
Now for our windshield installation and on certain models of coaches, for instance, uh, Phaetons, uh, Tiffin Phaetons, uh, Tiffin Buses, London Air, certain years and models, you're in it, uh, unable to access the top of the windshield from inside of the coach. In this case, we use exterior top magnets and the remainder of the magnets go inside the windshield. Shirley's going to show you here, uh, uh, we act actually have that shade hanging on our garage door. First step is to clean the interior perimeter of the glass, the portion that you can reach um, with the uh, alcohol and water mixture and a clean microfiber towel. We use microfiber towels because they don't leave lint. You want to make sure it's clean, not something you've already waxed your coach with. Now Shirley is preparing the outside of the windshield. Now on the top section is where the exterior magnets are going to go. As we mentioned, uh, we're going to be using interior magnets in all the locations of the windshield shade except for the top. And here again she's using 4 out steel wool, alcohol, and water to make sure there's no wax. So she'll go through this process on the whole top of the windshield and get it clean. She's going to follow up uh, here in a second after she cleans it, just like the side window shade installation. She's going to use the silane to create the water barrier, vapor barrier uh, and uh, really helps the adhesive to stick. I'm going to finish off with one swipe that just makes sure that there's no lint. Generally, you're going to have about 15 minutes after you apply the silane. If it goes longer than that, um, then you're going to just reapply the silane. Okay, here's your magnet set. You got package A, that's going to be the heavier magnets, which are going to reach the uppermost portion of the interior shade. Your black exterior magnets and the remainder of the magnets in the center there that go throughout uh, the rest of the application for the windshield. Every box is clearly marked. We also suggest don't open the magnets until you're ready to install them. Okay, this is a cake pan. We like to turn this thing upside down. We'll put the magnets on the cake pan. Uh, this is going to do two things. It's going to protect your fingers. These are very powerful magnets. Uh, you don't want to get your fingers in between them. So what you're going to do is uh, slide them away one at a time, separate them, line them up on the perimeter of the uh, cake pan or whatever you, might, whatever you might have that's uh, metal. This also makes it very easy for the person installing the magnets because they can slide them off the pan and another magnet won't jump up and, and uh, get your finger. So she's going to continue to set the magnets on the perimeter of the pan. Keeping in mind the package A magnets are going to go in the uppermost corners. They're a little heavier magnet. The plastic spacers are there just to help you separate the magnets. You can throw those away. All right, it's hanging on our garage door. Now Zach is getting ready to uh, carry it over to the coach for installation. If you don't have a garage door, that's fine. We're doing this installation at our shop. <clears throat> So we use the uh, door, um, set the shade out in the sun, let it warm up before we do our installs. Now a little different application here. Uh, generally you're going to start with most motorhomes where you can reach the top of the windshield. You're going to start on the upper center magnets and work your way out here because we can't reach the top of the windshield from the inside. We're going to set the side magnets first. Now there is a hidden pocket. Uh, not a hidden pocket, I'd say it's uh, sewn on the very, just below the upper corner magnet that's sewn on the back side of the shade for this application. What that does is allows you to hang the majority of the shade from the inside and that hidden pocket uh, is an interior uh, magnet uh, that will create a hinge point so when you set your upper uh, exterior magnets it holds the shade in place. As you see um, they're placing the magnets on the inside of the coach now. Uh, another thing to note on Phaetons, Tiffins, any coach that has a bonded windshield, you are going to show, and it's by design, uh, maybe three quarters to a half an inch of glass exposure on the side of the shade. This is because we don't want to bring the fabric all the way out to the edge due to the interior trim, which could cause the fabric to curl. So you're going to line it up showing an equal amount of the black glass on uh, both sides of the shade. And you're going to give it a nice stretch. When you stretch the shade tight as you're setting it up and adjusting it, do not lift the pockets off the glass. 
Um, the magnets that are being put inside the windshield right now, we're leaving the film on, so this is a dry fit. We won't stick the magnets permanently until we get it all adjusted, and uh, then the shade will be nice and tight, as you'll see in the last photos of this video. And so we're stretching the shade out, getting it nice, nice and tight. Um, side to side on this application, like I said earlier, just double check your uh, uh, center on the coach. You should be showing an equal amount of black glass edge on both sides. Another thing with these large shades, uh, for instance, on the Phaetons and the Tiffins, uh, London Airs, Newmar, Dutch Stars, Anything that's really over about 55 inches, uh, we want to use, I suggest using two installation rods uh, because of the height of the shade. Uh, this is showing how Shirley's placing the magnets on the inside of the windshield, leaving the film on, and you want to hold on tight. Those magnets will automatically align themselves with the magnet in the shade, so you literally could close your eyes and place them in, the prop place them in there properly. You don't have to mark, measure, or tape anything. The final adjustment uh, as we move along here before we actually remove the magnets one at a time and permanently set them to the glass is to make sure that they're scooted outboard. It's real important for this installation to make sure the magnets are outboard. So when you move the interior magnet out towards the trim, as Shirley did there, it's also at the same time moving the shade magnet. And this is the uppermost uh, location that we can reach uh, the inside of the windshield. That would be the hidden pocket she's placing the make magnet on there. So uh, there's roughly, I believe, around six to seven inches of bulkhead uh, interference there. So that's the highest point you can reach the magnet on the 17 Phaeton that we're doing here. Um, which would be similar to the other coaches, like some of the Dutch Stars, London Airs, King Airs that we do. All right, so the shade's nice and tight outside. So we're going to set the interior magnets first. So there, uh, Zach is holding his hand on the pocket of the shade, and then that, that maintains the position of the magnet in the shade while Shirley removes the interior peels of the film and that magnet will automatically align itself to the shade. She's going to knock on the glass to let him know to move to the next magnet because he can't see her. Very fast installation. All right, now we're getting ready to set the upper magnets. So uh, very similar to the side shade application, we're going to put the black magnet on each pocket. We're going to scoot them up towards the hem. Uh, then he's going to wipe off the magnet Place an adhesive dot on each one of the magnets that are placed. And starting with the two center magnets, simply lift this shade up, give it a little stretch and pressure against the glass and uh, move, moving along the top. So there will be six of these across the top. Basically they're very small but they're still very powerful and they're going to blend in with the dark glass. couple other considerations here as a tip. Uh, if When you're installing your shade from the ground with the rods, if the fabric seems like it's dragging against the windshield, um, it's a good idea sometimes to clean your glass uh, with a light pressure using uh, 4 out steel wool and some uh, foaming glass cleaner. We like to suggest as well to use some foaming uh, Rain-X glass cleaner. Um, but not in the pocket areas. Uh, that just helps the shade slide up the glass when you're getting ready to install it. All right, so uh, the top area has been cleaned now. Zach is applying the silane, giving it a light sweep. Silane, uh, uh, by the way, most people don't know this, but glass absorbs moisture. It actually is like a sponge. Silane cr creates a monofilm on the glass. So any moisture buildup cannot pass through the glass into the adhesion point of the magnet. So it's imperative that uh, it's cleaned properly with the alcohol and water, uh, clean 
microfiber towel and, uh, and using the silane spray. And there's plenty of spray that we send along with our shades. He's applying pressure now to those two center magnets. This is the gap that you're generally going to see on a bonded windshield. Uh, we've got the magnet moved out to the edge of the fabric as far as we can. This is the final installation of the magnets on top. And here is the finished product. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at 336-753-0905. Go to magnashade.com and we appreciate you taking a look at our video. If you have any needs at all, my staff here at Magnashade will take great care of you.